Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Today is a Shabbat. Today is a delight. It's time to get up and give them the praise. Joel Hey Wab Hey. Yahweh, and we are here tonight to uh, celebrate the ending of the Shabbat and to celebrate Sukkot. We've had a high day of study and rest and relaxation and just being in the presence of the Father. And this is my husband, Hahamia ben Yahweh. <laughs> and I say shalom, shalom, shalom to all you mashpaka. As my wife was saying, we just was finishing out it's barely, barely almost going into the Shabbat, and we thought going we were going to start early. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Uh, it's been a lot going on, Marsh yes, Makar, but it's yes, been a blessing. Yes. If you have not did any of his feast days, I'm telling you, you need to get into them. Yes. You need to learn them, because it is rehearsals for the things to come. They are prophetic. 
They are powerful things. And so we have been really, really busy all through the week getting ready and preparing our hearts, preparing the suka. And so we slept in the tent and everything yes. is a change. Everything is different. So we kind of got a late start. Not because we're lazy, but because <laughs> the conditions, it's noisy when you're out in the tent. You're out in the outdoors. It's no insulation. You hear motorcycles, you hear cars, you hear all kinds of different things. And so this is what the Most High wanted us to be experiencing. He wanted us to experience the outdoors, to see what it's like. Um, when his people were in, the children of Yasharal were walking and wandering in the uh, wilderness. Mm -hmm. They had to experience these things. They had to experience things that were a little bit different. It was uncomfortable. You see, sometimes we have to go against the grain to see yes, what we're made yes. out of, to be tested, yes. and all of these different things. So we're only gonna talk a little on Sukkot, and um, we got much more. We're not rushing because we still got like, what, six days or seven days? We, we got yeah. time. Yeah, we have time. It's been so <laughs> much going on, I haven't even been keeping track of every day, but we got lots of time to praise them. Yes, we got we lots do. of time to let them come willing. and dwell with us. <laughs> yes, y'all willing, because this is a time where people think that he is going to come. And it says it in Zechariah, and we're going to read a portion of Revelation. So we are anticipating is coming and we are rehearsing. I don't know if you wanted to add to anything. Oh, I just want to say this is one of my favorite feast days. I just love it. I look forward to the presence of Yah Yahweh uh, coming to dwell with us. His presence mm -hmm. is felt more. And not only do you hear the sounds as people go about with the traffic and the motorcycles and the things my husband says, but when you wake up early in the morning, you hear the beautiful sound of the birds. Yes. And you you can feel the wind blowing and just the the, the beauty the beauty of Yah's nature. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's just it's a whole different it's it's a peacefulness that you really don't experience when you're in the house. Yes. And so it's just it's 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 just waking up and feeling His presence, and then starting your prayer and it, it's just a blessing. It's a yes, blessing. It is. It's like you're out in the open wind with the Yaruach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and um, mm -hmm. it's just, it's a powerful thing. So if you've never done it or if it's your first time, it's not a hard thing to do. Yeah, it's it's some struggling in the beginning. Mm -hmm. you see, this is why the enemy makes all kinds of havoc before the feast days come. Because yes. he doesn't want you to pursue them. Yes. There's something in this time that's going to happen to your soul. Mm -hmm. There's something in this time that you're going to get revelation knowledge. There's something in this time to where things are going to click where they didn't click before and it's going to make sense when you read his word. You're going to hear him more clearly. Mm -hmm. As my wife said, when you get up in the morning, it's like a little brisk chill, but you hear the birds <laughs> chirping and singing. Yes, yes. And like we say in the song, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning time amen, amen. it's that simka that comes in the morning time mm -hmm. so yes we yes. feel really really good and blessed and barack by the most high yah and we just give him the praise for all the things that he is doing through these yes. feast days yes, he he's brought us a mighty long way and he's going to continue to bring us a whole lot further mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. for those of you out there who are doing it I know there's uh, people who I enjoy, and you may not even know know me, and I and you may not even know me, and I may not even know you as far as how we know each other from YouTube. And I just like to say uh, shalom or shalom or shalawam to all those of the Great Hebrew Awakening, shalawam to the We Woke TV, uh, Kelly Richardson's. Oh. Uh, Gates of Holda, uh, Deborah, Deborah, uh, 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 who else? Yona. Who? Yona Golab. Yona Golab. Uh, <laughs> there's so much. If I forgot anyone, um, I'm sorry. Uh, my Ock over there. Um, In Arizona. Uh, uh, and where? Uh, Prophecy Ministries. Prophecy Ministries. Um, are so many um so many um and uh robert 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about him today. Yeah, yeah Robert, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Psalms 91, and various people yes, out there. Yes, yes, there's so uh, many. Yeah. People at the Ark of the Remnant, people at the Ark of Yahweh, yes, um, people yes. at the Coalition Ark. Um, yes, yes, we probably. may not view all the time, but we want to let you guys know that we support you. Um, mm -hmm. we, we enjoy uh, getting things. Um, sometimes it's not, it's, it's not what we so much get, but sometimes a person will say something to strike up that idea that I might need for a message. And I know that doesn't just work for me, it works for all yes, of us. Yes. And this is why we have to sharpen each other. Iron sharpens iron. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to, uh, just want to uh, praise the Most High Yah for all of your guys' diligence because I know it takes a lot of work um, doing all this. And so don't be discouraged. Things are happening in the mm -hmm. spiritual realm. Yes, yes. I know we all could get into that point in our life in this walk where the thoughts may come am I really being effective because it's not about us but it's about us being used by the most high mm -hmm. you know and and trying to trying to get that one soul that that the enemy is trying to steal that may have walked off the path and sometimes it takes that encouragement mm -hmm. to to wake that brother or sister up mm -hmm. to say that I am more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Hamashiach yes. who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. And so this is what it's all about, Mashpaka. Mm -hmm. Let us all come in together. We all are in different levels in this walk. Yes. We are learning and growing and he is doing a work in us. Yes, he is. And he is yes, working he is. through all of us variously. We may not all agree on every single little yes, thing, yes. but we all are growing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying all this today because you may not know me, you may not know my wife personally, and I may not know you. Mm -hmm. But if that last breath were to take one of us, and when that time comes, when we're before the judgment, we will be able to say, hallelujah. Nice to meet you, my yes, ox. Yes. Nice to meet you, aqua. Mm -hmm. Oh, Elder, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. I don't know of you, but I see you're here with me right now. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Won't that Amen. be a beautiful Amen. thing? Won't that be a beautiful thing? So I'm hyped up right now. Yes. I got my rest. <laughs> I feel good. And we're yes. not going to make this long, but this is a beautiful thing, Mashbaka. Sukkot is one of the best, and I love it. Mm -hmm. and most everybody says that. And Pesach, they're all good. Don't get me mm -hmm. wrong. But this is just the this is just the icing on the cake. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Um, so can I just say one thing you too? Can say I just whatever you want. This is a I scope. just want to say um blessings to all of them, Miss Boca, and uh, all of like my husband said of the different congregations we fellowship with and we we still love all the people from the different areas and the different congregations we've been to. And we also um I just want to say a shout out to our family members, to our children. Um, yes. Mostly just um, the ones that we've been in contact with and the ones we haven't been in contact with, the ones that are um, will join us, Some, maybe some of them during the week and then some of them through the videos. And I just want to say a shout out to uh, our son Marvin, um, my daughter Angela, uh, our daughter Angela, um, uh, <laughs> Razakia Yaakov, uh, also known as Jimmy, and uh, Galia, our daughter Galia, also known as Zipporah. And so those are our Bakaya. four. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. And her Bakaya. Oh, well, yeah, well, I hadn't Yaku even thought about. <laughs> and Malakia. Okay, now he's saying the grandkids. And, um, Go ahead. Uh, Malakia. Um, <laughs> We uh, really miss you. you so much. And um, um, okay, else? Kayla and her husband Jay. Um, let me go. Marvin Jr. Um, let me see. Uh, Malcolm. Uh, we have another one. Bellagio, Carmela, uh, Marquetta, uh, Carter. Um, I had to think of the names now. There's so many of them. Carter. Okay. <laughs> 
Curtis and uh, Josiah or Josiah, commonly known as Josiah. So we just want to, yeah, he just brought up all the grandkids. So we, I hope we didn't miss any. So we, we just want to. <laughs> we we, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. So, you know, uh, the feast days, you especially uh, think of all your family members, brothers, sisters, children, uh, grandchildren, and um, all of our children are grown. So, you know, but we still have grandchildren that, that are still young. Some of them are grown too. But anyway, we, we just praise, we just praise y'all for all of our family members. We're excited. And I just want to give a short little testimony. Okay. But, uh, I, I have a daughter that lives in Texas that we're not in uh, contact all the time. And um, we, you know, I will pray for all, of course, all of our children, all of our family members. We love them and all, all of our Miss Boca, we pray for. We've been particularly praying for and interceding for our families on the feast days. And so I was uh, praying for the, my my oldest daughter who lives in Texas, and I hadn't been in contact, hadn't heard from her for months. And I, you know, I just prayed for her, and I just said, "Well, Father, you know, you take care of everything." My my husband sends out uh, videos at the beginning of the feast day, and it just so happened that she texted me, and she said when she turned on her TV, she saw my face <laughs> on a video we did last night. And I, and you know, and, and so she contacted me and I was like very, very happy to hear from her. And uh, I just want to tell you, Angela, if you're listening, we love you, I miss you, and hopefully we will um, be talking very soon. I just, I just know it's Yahweh. I know it's Yahweh when things happen because every feast day, as my husband says, when you keep these feasts, he answers prayers. Yes. All the time he answers prayers things that we have prayed for sometimes for even years or months. And so I just wanted, I just had to say that. I'm yes. really happy about that today. And I just wanted to say, uh, praise the most high Yah for my wife. Um, she's a, a beautiful decorator. She's beautiful in spirit inside and out. God bless you. And um, <laughs> how all this came together, we really didn't plan on putting up a sukkah, we used to do it, and we used to have like a lot of people and congregate, and we'll have a couple of few friends or whatever come by, um, and we have food, and we'll fellowship a little bit, and mm -hmm. enjoy the day, because this is what it's about. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have a plan like a month ahead of time, no. and so I just kind of told my wife, you know, because she didn't know how she would feel or how she would be up to it. And, I just started looking in the back and I started looking at the wood that I did have, you know, to put up a sukkah. Mm -hmm. And so we know the Most High had his hand in all of this because yes. when I started putting it together, I had a Ma'ak, uh, Nehemiah, and Nisanya. Uh, I asked them, I said, well, you think you can maybe come and help me, you know, do a couple of things because I have to pick up these big, um, what, four by eight? piece of plywood and set them in and I got like a tongue in there where I could kind of put it in there and rock it up and hit it with a, uh, a screw with the drill with the screw gun and um, it'll hold and but sometimes in the wind it's difficult but make a long story short he came and he's like well I got some plywood at my house I was like two uh, pieces short and you can come by so we went over there and um, I picked up the stuff and he had all kinds of wood and I didn't want to take all the wood. He just wanted to get rid of it, but I didn't want to be stuck with all this wood. Mm. And um, I just took what I thought <clears throat> that I would need. Mm. And he said, well, take this, take this. I'm like, nah, nah, come on, come on. So I, I listened to him. <laughs> but do you know that we put the right amount of wood <clears throat> on the truck to do what we had to do? So then when me and my wife started putting this together, two heads are better than one. Two Rahashas are better than one. So we started putting things together and we had no kind of color scheme how we were gonna do this. We had no kind of concept. We just started going through all these materials that we had from previous. We had a friend that they used to do this and she was in the sewing and, and, and his wife had passed and so he wasn't going to be doing this like he used to anymore so he gave us all the material so we just started going through it and 
things just started coming together. Yeah. It was yeah. yeah. Even my yeah. wife was like, oh, you put this one here. I think I saw something like, and then it was like, we, we were both feeding off each other. Boom, uh -huh. boom, 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 boom. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it just came together. And he and always so, provides. He always, always provides. He provides whether we have money or not. Uh, I was wondering, why is my husband building this big sukkah? Because we haven't had a big one for a while. Uh, he said we haven't been having sukkahs, but we always put up a tent. We always have an outdoor mm -hmm. uh, place to stay to keep the, the sukkah. And we also have a dining sukkah, which is our patio. We just turned it into a dining sukkah. And then we have the tent to sleep in. And we all, all, most of the time he does build a sukkah. But a, last, a couple of years, there were other things going on and health issues, uh, work issues, all kind of things, just life. Mm -hmm. And so he wasn't able to build a sukkah, but he would have, we still always had our tent and our dining sukkah. Mm -hmm. But I was like, wow, this is so, where are we gonna get enough stuff to put up here? But Yah had it all together. Yeah. He always helps us to have the things together of what we need. Um, and like I was saying last year, you don't have to have a big sukkah. You, you don't have to, as everyone doesn't have a yard to put a tent. Some people are in apartments, have patios, some don't have patios. But there's always a way that you can keep these feast days. The main thing is you pray and ask Yahweh to show you what to do. Mm -hmm. Even if you take your family to the park, and, and the first day and the eighth day are the most important because those are Shabbat 